In this video, we continue our discussion on dynamical systems. This time, we focus on equilibrium points. Let's take a general dynamical system where the transition from state An to state An plus 1 is through function f. A is called an equilibrium point or a fixed point of the dynamical system if A equals f of A. This is important to know because if we calculate the sequence generated by this dynamical system starting from a0 equals a, then we see that all other values are also a. For example, a1 equals f of a0, which is f of a, and because a is an equilibrium point, this is a, meaning that it's exactly a0. So, uh, we are going to stay within A0. The same is true also for A2. A2 is f of A1. And A1, we just saw that it's exactly equal to A, so that give, gives us A1 and A0. So the whole dynamical system is constant. In other words, if we start with initial value A0 equals A, then An equals A for all n greater than or equal to 0. It's important to identify the equilibrium points of a dynamical system and their properties to know about its asymptotic behavior. Let's take as an example a simple linear dynamical system of the form a n plus 1 equals r times a n for some r different than 0. To look for its equilibrium points, we have to solve the equation x equals r times x. In other words, this is the same as saying 1 minus r times x equals 0. We have two different cases. If r is different than 1, then x equals 0 is the only equilibrium point. Now, if r equals 1, then this equation here becomes 0 times x equals 0, and that means that there are an infinity of equilibrium points x. I will give here just an informal definition of the main types of equilibrium points. Remember that if we start a dynamical system exactly in the equilibrium point, then the whole sequence is constant and equal to the equilibrium point. We say that the equilibrium point is stable if, starting from a nearby initial point, will give an orbit that remains nearby the original orbit. If we imagine the dynamical system as points in a two-dimensional grid, then starting nearby a stable equilibrium point will ensure that the entire dynamical system stays nearby it. A special form of stability is that of asymptotic stability, where starting nearby the equilibrium point ensures that the dynamical system converges towards it. A typical example is that of a pendulum in the lowest position. If we slightly move the pendulum from this position, it will eventually return to the same position. An equilibrium point is called unstable if starting nearby it may give a sequence going away from the equilibrium point. A typical example is that of a pendulum in the highest position. If we slightly move the pendulum from this position, either to this di direction or to that one, then it's going to swing further and further away from it and it will be unable to return to it. So this is an un unstable equilibrium point. Let's consider a general linear dynamical system a n plus 1 equals r times a n plus b for some r different than 0. To look for equilibrium points, we will have to solve the equation x equals r times x plus b. In other words, the equation is 1 minus r times x equals b. So, if r is different than 1, then b over 1 minus r is the only equilibrium point. Now, if r equals 1, then this equation becomes 0 times x 
equals b. So we have two cases. If b equals 0, then all numbers are equilibrium points. If on the other hand b is different than 0, then the dynamical system has no equilibrium point. Assume that r is different than 1. We will look into what kind of equilibrium point is b over 1 minus r. Recall from the previous video that the analytic form of this linear dynamical system is a n equals r to power n times a constant c plus b over 1 minus r. And the constant c was a0 minus b over 1 minus r. Now, it's easy to see that if the absolute value of r is smaller than 1, then r to power n in fact converges towards 0, and so b over 1 minus r is asymptotically stable. If on the other hand the absolute value of r is bigger than 1, then r to power n will tend to infinity, and in fact, if r is negative, r to power n um, has a different behavior, but I can put it in modulo. So modulo of r to power n will tend to infinity. And so that means that b over 1 minus r is unstable. Now, if r equals minus 1, then we will have that b over 2 is stable. I want to look a little bit into this case. So in this case, we will get two constant subsequences, the odd and the even terms on either side of the equilibrium. So what we will get in this case is that uh, the even terms a to n are minus 1 to power 2n times c plus b over 2. And this is the same as saying it's c plus b over 2. And remember who C was. So it's exactly A0 minus B over 2 plus B over 2, and that's A0. The odd terms A to n plus 1 are minus 1 to power 2n plus 1 times C plus B over 2. And in this case, we get that it's minus c plus b over 2, which is minus a0 plus b over 2 plus b over 2. And this is exactly minus a0 plus b. So, of course, starting with a0 close to b over 2 will mean that the two subsequences will be close to b over 2. The behavior around equilibrium points can be highly complex for nonlinear systems. An example of that is um, a n plus 1 equals r times 1 minus a n times a n, an example that came up earlier in this lecture. The system can have very different behavior depending on r. For this example, we can make a so-called bifurcation diagram. This shows the behavior of the system as the value of r increases. For smaller values of r in this region, the system is asymptotically stable. Increasing the value of r and going to this region, the system gets periodic with period 2, meaning that it's going, the system is going to switch between two different values. Increasing the value even further will take us to this region where the system has a period of 4, meaning that it's going to switch between four values and then again is going to switch between these, these four values. For even larger values, it becomes 8 and so on. For large enough values of R, the behavior of the system appears to be chaotic. This is a typical example for how chaotic behavior can rise from very simple nonlinear dynamics.